Canada to send four combat-ready Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine in the upcoming weeks. This is the Great White North Report. Our Minister of National Defense, Anita Anand, and Chief of Defense Staff General Wayne Eyre announces that Canada will provide Ukraine with four Leopard 2 main battle tanks, as well as CAF trainers, to teach Ukrainian soldiers how to operate the vehicles. These heavily armored and highly protected vehicles provide soldiers with a tactical advantage on the battlefield thanks to their excellent mobility, their firepower, and their survivability. And it'll allow Ukraine to liberate even more of its territory and defend its people from Russia's brutal invasion. These four tanks are combat ready and will be deployed over the coming weeks. Great, they make it sound like we're sending them a regiment of tanks, but really we're just sending them a squad. And four tanks won't make much of a difference, only in a small sector. But, I'm, but other allies are going to send tanks as well. And the Leopard tanks are... Not exactly the newest tanks out there. They're actually quite old, but there's variants and they've been upgraded over the years. Now, Ukraine's been asking for 300 German-made Leopard 2 battle tanks, and many allies were have the, many allies have those tanks in their inventories, but were unable to donate them until Germany approved them for export because it is a German-designed tank and they hold all the licenses. Well, on Wednesday, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz announced his country to provide Ukraine with 14 Leopard 2 tanks for its his own military. The Leopard 2 tank is is actually used quite a lot around the world. Germany and, and the Netherlands, they had a surplus of these tanks after the collapse of the Soviet Union, so they started selling them abroad. So four tanks doesn't sound like a lot. Like It helps the Ukrainians, yeah. And we're doing our part. But the reality is we only have 82 tanks in stock. 53 of them are combat ready. If you go to the website Global Firepower, you can see whatever every country has in their arsenal, or almost, because not every country is tra transparent. But you get a pretty good picture of what each country has. Currently, we sit 81st out of 145 countries in terms of tank power. Considering the size of our country and the fact that we only have 53 battle-ready tanks, they would be stretched pretty thin if someone was to invade Canada in the unlikely event. 53 tanks isn't going to defend too much. They'd probably be sent to Ottawa to defend Trudeau's house. So we're sitting in 80, 81st place. This one has us 84. Behind Chad, Yemen, Ecuador, and Kenya. And the South Sudan. We have more than Australia does. So we're ahead of somebody. Sweden, Oman, Bosnia. You get the idea. Like some of these, even Singapore has 170 tanks for a country of their size. Now as far as vehicle goes, we have over 20,000 in, in readiness with a stock of 31,000 which puts us like a 34th out of 145 countries. That makes more sense with a country our size. But that's what happens when we did peacekeeping for so many years. We have no self-propelled artillery. Our towed artillery, we already sent it to Ukraine. So we have none in stock, none in readiness, and we haven't replaced what we've given. So it's the same with our tanks. What are we replacing it with? So as you can see here, we got the Leopard 2A6M. These were built between 1985 and 1992. We have 20 of them. We purchased them from the Netherlands and December 2007 and upgraded to 2A6M standards. And then we have 62 of the 2A4, 2A4Ms. 20 of these have been upgraded to 2A4M Canadian version with extra belly armor for mine protection, additional modular armor and other enhancements. 42 tanks have been retained for training. So we built, we have 80 Leopards that we purchased and 42 of them are for training. They were upgraded during Afghanistan because of the tactics the, the Taliban used. The Taliban couldn't take us on head on. So they used to lay traps along roads and in other areas with explosives. I used to work for Armatech and we made this stuff for the LAV, well back then it was the LAV 3 and 4. Now they're up to LAV 6. I used to make the armor for this thing. So this is all we have in our inventory and no news if we're going to replace it. So we bought a, its lepers from Germany during the war in Afghanistan. They're split into squadrons of 19 tanks each with two squadrons in Edmonton and a third in CFB Gagetown, New Brunswick. Most of the rest are at the Armor Training School in Gagetown. So we have 112 of these in our inventory, but only 81 are combat ready. 30 are used for engineering purposes and recovering disabled vehicles. Many are not battle ready because of maintenance issues. So we don't exactly have a lot in the jar and we're running our, our military on a shoestring right now. And it's even gonna be a challenge for us to deliver. They can be flown to Europe in a C-17 Globe, Globe, ah, Globemaster one at a time. So we can only send these things one at a time. We don't have an airplane big enough to ship more than one tank. And by boat would take too long. So this is what I've been saying. Our military is in sad shape. Unfor unfortunately, we've let it slide since the end of the Cold War when we used to have a full armored brigade of tanks. We just don't have the firepower anymore. We couldn't defend our own country. Let's put it that way. 
and we'd have to rely on the United States and allies. We'd be in the same situation as Ukraine. I think Ukraine was in a better situation than us. Of course, Ukraine has all the, the old Soviet era equipment still in its stockpiles, but they did have, but they did have over 1,300 tanks that were battle ready. Well, Canada has what, 53 in readiness? It's kind of embarrassing. But like I said, I don't mind helping Ukraine out. I know Ukraine's not, not the, the greatest country on, on earth. Their, gov their government is very corrupt. And Zelensky is trying to change that. But at the same time, if we don't stop the Russians in Ukraine, who would be next? And it might encourage China to take a swipe at Taiwan on top of that. So sending four combat-ready Leopard tanks is no big deal. We should be looking into procuring a new tank for our armed forces and, and having more than just three squadrons. But any Canadians out there, let me know what you guys think about our donation to Ukraine. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? And what should we do about the state of our Canadian military? Leave comments in the comment section. Hit the like button until next time. And until next time, this has been the Great White North Report. Soldiers.